So, my name is Katja Hentonen, and I work in a small open source project called Styleface for Eclipse. Um, I also work for um, VTT, a Technical Research Center of Finland. I'm a project manager in a research project on open source software. So, Stylebase for Eclipse is a knowledge management solution which concentrates on software architectural models, or actually software architectural knowledge. It's more than only models. The aim of the tool is to improve the sharing and reuse of architectural knowledge in development teams, and it has been developed as an Eclipse extension. About the history of the project, it was first published in October 2006. There has been very uh, few small releases, mostly bug fixes and small improvements. It's still quite small, the code. It's a little bit more than 8,000 thousand lines of source code. The community is supported by my employer to a small extent. For example, they paid my flights here, but they do not finance our development, so they don't really help in the most important way. So, in this picture, um, you can see the traditional way in how software architecture is always often documented in companies. So people use all kind of uh, whiteboard and whiteboards and flash boards, and they draw pictures there. And when the board is wiped, then the information is only in the heads of people. And if these people get hit by a bus, then there's a big problem. Um, open in open source communities, actually a little bit better because there is a if uh, architectural decisions are discussed in the forums, then these design rationals are available later. Um, what we suggest is uh, over there. So we are trying to, to make a tool for sharing and, and uh, reusing architectural knowledge. Architectural knowledge is essentially design decisions and design, so it's how and why. How is can be represented in models like UML diagrams or something else, and why is the ration, uh, how, or why is the rational, wh why was this done, and this is the bigger part, of course. And the, yeah, so who needs architecture knowledge? There are architects, developers, uh, integrators also, if you don't do like, uh, mostly you need to know something about the internals of the component you are integrating. Also, testers normally need architectural knowledge to a certain extent. Complete black box testing is really efficient. And of course, newbies who want to get involved in a new open source project need to know the structure of the program. So, there are some ideas on how to use architectural knowledge, why it's useful. Some of them are advice. Um, firstly, you can improve skills of your own development team. It's easier for new people to get into the project if architecture is documented at some level at least. And it also reduces the risk of depending on, on one or two key people. But also, uh, I think that architectural knowledge could be shared between different open source communities, so that uh, one com that communities could pick up like best practices from others and learn from good and bad architectural decisions which were made in other projects. Um, one uh, goal of documenting architecture is to manifest des design decisions in an early phase. So if you document them, you manifest them, then people get a chance to criticize you before you implement everything, and you might get good feedback. And of course, integrators also benefit from architectural knowledge. So a little bit about features of the tool Stylebase for Eclipse. It's essentially a tool for maintaining a knowledge base. 
There is a remote database and a local database which can store diverse architectural models. These models can be architecture patterns, design patterns, reference architectures, macro and micro architectures, for example. Um, if I'm not going into all these terms now. If you're not familiar with them, you can uh, Google. Mm, uh, but the idea is to store, the idea of the tool is not to store things like class diagrams, but rather to store solutions which are uh, reusable or which others can benefit from in, in some way, like rather conceptual level models than, than class diagrams. So there's a person and a local repository. There are commands to move data between two. One can do searches and, and different kind of browsing. And there is a bias in the shared repository. There are logs to control concurrent updates and stuff. Essentially, three uh, big blocks of information are stored into the knowledge base for its um, knowledge base entry. There is a guide which is a textual representation. This would mostly regard information on why the architecture was implemented in a certain way. Then there's a picture which shows high, um, like how the architecture has been implemented. And there is a, also an XML format a representation of the model so that it can be used in other tools. Actually, it is not limited to UML. It can also be some other modeling in some other modeling language. And it should be quite easy in Eclipse to integrate style based for Eclipse with HTML editor plugins or modeling tools. Like um, we mostly use it with top case, but it can be used with any other tool as well. So a little bit about the problems the community has. Um, one thing is that the tool provides only, there's only the tool and there's not really content in the knowledge base. And it's uh, the content that makes the tool useful. So actually some people get very disappointed because when they download the software, they expect a knowledge base which is filled with a lot of information and we don't yet have, really we only have some exemplary information there and not real information. And how to get this information is a little bit problematic because most architectural information is quite strictly copyrighted. And yeah, how to get information from the community. Another problem is that uh, Eclipse seems to be a too limited environment. So ideally the knowledge base should be accessible from both web tools and Eclipse. And I think Majority of our small open source projects have some res resource problems, so so do us. So permanent development team is myself, and it's actually myself on my free time when I'm free from everything else. Um, we have uh, several contributions from students, but it's difficult to commit them to, to stay with the community for a long time because they should just do some software projects and get study units, and, and then they go. So future plans, the, the dream would be develop a tooling environment which makes architecture knowledge sharing painless. So if it's, uh, if the big, the problem with documentation or normally of course, or it's also something extra. So something you, it's kind of supplementary to coding and secondary to coding. So the knowledge creation process would integrate seamlessly into the development process so that it would be released painless to, to document software architecture. And uh, yeah, I think ideal would be have a free website for sharing architectural knowledge. I don't know if it's a good, good idea yet. It's with a question mark. But if you, if you like to know more, uh, go to our website. There should be e. I wonder if, okay. Okay. 
No. <laughs> no, I was checking if you had some screens on Tyson. Because there's still time, I just show you at least one screenshot to, to end with. So here is the idea. There's, uh, there's text, there's a picture, and there's a knowledge base. There are a lot of attributes there are some attribute, different type of attributes which can be configured and attached to the models, and then the model space can be searched by these attributes, and so on. But um, anyway, this is our websites. There are two minutes left if somebody has a question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's supposed to be uh, a knowledge base. So it's not just like already now there is a tool like for sharing architecture knowledge. There's a global uh, database at my employer server which can be connected and one can put models there and take models out of there. So essentially, yes, it wants to be a knowledge base at, at large. Yeah. yeah. Um, would it be a separate project or? Yeah, that's uh, the one idea. It would, it would of course be a separate project. Yeah, yeah. I um, there might be uh, chances that my employer is interested in financing that, but I don't know about <laughs> or know about it yet. So that's why uh, that's why the dream was with a question mark. So. <laughs> No, not not with this tool, Tully. Mm. Yeah. Well, at this point, this is uh, specific to like architecture models and and reusable architecture models, for example. In the scope is rather conceptual models, so the kind of models that are reusable. For example, um, if I have a model view controller, it's a common architectural pattern. But uh, if a developer gets the, uh, it can be develop. Um, let's say it stops in the reference architectures, or I would implement a rough picture of model view controller. This more more or less very stops because class diagrams are really usable, but maybe in the form of design patterns. So the idea is pick up models that are reusable. So which uh, document some kind of best, best practice or known good solution. Yeah, it should be part of the bigger integrate into the Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's still a little bit uh, to be defined. <laughs> You're more than welcome to my email addresses over there. So anyone is more than welcome to to send me suggestions. This project is in a in a very initial phase, so we are very open to more ideas. <laughs>